an embarrassing end. The Eagles lose their final game of the season to the Giants. Now they have to focus on a team down south in the wild card round of the playoffs. And Turnpike price hike. How much more you may be paying starting today on your commute. New details on this mid-air scare. What investigators say could have made things a whole lot worse. Those stories and more on today's edition of The Lineup. It is Monday, January 8th, 2024. The Lineup is brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Hi, I'm NBC10's Erin Coleman. And I'm Lucy Bustamante. Let's get you up to speed with what you need to know for today. The Eagles are officially on to the playoffs, yes, but last night's embarrassing 27-10 to 10 loss to the New York Giants. That is going to sting with players and fans for a very long time. Look, I had to walk away from the TV. From oh, the no. top seed to number five, can the Birds regroup in time for the playoff? That's the big question today. NBC10's Matt Delucia, he's hearing from uh, people. <laughs> From poor performance to injuries, this game was just painful to watch, and it's not the way fans wanted to wrap up the regular season. Uh, you take a look at the disappointed faces over at Chickies and Pete's in South Philadelphia yesterday. Uh, fans could just watch in horror a uh, feeling really that has grown over the past few weeks. Uh, and the fans at this point can only hope that the playoffs bring some new life to this struggling team because a lot of them can't figure out how the birds went from 10 and 1 to this. This team is uh, playing without any purpose. Uh, they're playing without any heart. Uh, the leaders of the team are not stepping up. They're so lax that we're losing and losing bad where the fans are losing confidence. Yeah, now it is do or die time because if the birds lose, that is it. That is the end of the season. And now there is no home field advantage because the birds are going to be in Tampa for the wild card next weekend. Definitely need that win now. For now, I'm in South Philly, Matt Delucia, NBC 10 News. Oh, boy, the fifth-seeded <laughs> birds. They're going to play the fourth-seeded bucks in one week. The odds makers still think the Eagles should win this one. But the birds is the favorite, but they have to put in the work to make it happen. If you need to find some hope for the birds and face it, we all do at this point. The Eagles Road to Victory bus tour is here to help. It kicks off on Thursday with stops in Conshohocken, Havertown, Westmont, and Center City. First stop is at 11 a.m. All right, SEPTA writers, listen to this. You need to check your specific rail schedule before you head out the door this morning because they are rolling out changes to the regional rail schedules. Chestnut Hill East Lines, those are now offering hourly weekday service, and then several other lines are impacted by repair work and construction. And then commuters, they are now paying more to use the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Last year, the Turnpike Commission approved a 5% toll increase for Easy Pass and toll by plate customers. The commission is required to raise rates each year to to support PennDOT and with the new hike the most common toll for a car goes up 10 cents for easy pass customers and then 30 cents for toll by plate customers in the Lehigh Valley skiers are back on the slopes Bear Creek Mountain reopened for the season yesterday mild temperatures and heavy rain forced the resort to press pause on the season last month this weekend though we saw people back out on the mountain enjoying the fresh snow from Saturday's winter storm like gliding on butter for the most part. It's so oh. nice. That's so nice. When you like carve and all that, it's like you can tell. You can tell where it's like fresh. <laughs> Man, did he say butter? Like butter. There you go. I Over the past it. few years, the uh, Bear Creek Resort has relied on man made snow. Now the resort is hopeful that the fresh snow will give business a little bit of a boost. It's so nice. Aaron, I will never forget, literally a year ago, New Year's Day, you ha they had to keep putting snow on the, like right when you get off the lift. Yeah. Oof, it was bad. Yeah. It was bad. It's yeah. good to see so that. It's really nice to have the, the, the real stuff. Yeah. All right, we've all tried to do it. You make a New Year's resolution and you don't keep it. You just don't. Are you setting the bar too high? Oh, geez. Here we go with the guilt and the shame. An expert weighs in on what we may be doing that causes us to quit while we're ahead. We're back in 30 seconds. Here we go. Here I go again on my own. Introducing the all new TD Clear credit card with no late fees and no interest, just a simple monthly fee. That's predictability, even when expenses aren't. Four dollars? That's bananas. It's a pair. Oh, man. The all-new TD Clear credit card. That's how credit can be unexpectedly human. Call 1-844-TD-CLEAR for details about credit costs and terms. 
We have new details about the midair emergency that everybody's talking about. The plug door that flew off the side of an Alaska Airlines flight has been found. It landed in a backyard in Portland, Oregon. Look at this, guys. This is video from inside the Boeing 737 MAX 9. Came out early Saturday morning after the plane made that emergency landing. Look at that hole. Hundreds of Boeing planes have been grounded for inspection because of this. The chair of the NTSB says it is fortunate the plane was not at cruising altitude because this could have been so much worse. This would have been a much more violent explosion. There could have been some significant consequences for the passengers that were seated in that area. Oh, man. Wow, nobody was seriously hurt from the incident. Still not clear what caused the blower door to blow off. I can't even imagine no, that. Like that is not supposed to happen? Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, okay, firefighters say they were a part of a miracle in Southern California. They say a woman was trapped in this crashed pickup truck since Wednesday. Investigators mm. say she was trying to avoid a deer when she ran off the road, fell 200 feet down, and got stuck at the bottom of the hill. Then she had to survive dangerously cold conditions and, and wet conditions, too. When medics found her yesterday, she was still alert, still talking. Authorities say a hiker just happened to be in the area and spotted her. Can you imagine that? Sheer luck. I mean, whatever I mean, you want to call it, that miracle. That is miraculous, yeah. for sure. So honoring the team that was instrumental in bringing escape prisoner Danilo Cavacante back into custody, you're looking at a very much deserved recognition ceremony at Madison Square Garden during a professional bull riding event this weekend, by the way. There's Yoda, four-year-old Belgian Malinois. Yoda is credited with subduing Cavacante so rapidly and so strategically that no shots were fired as the officials ended the nearly two-week manhunt. Amazing. Look at him. He's almost smiling there. <laughs> He's like, something's going on. Well, good Looks boy. like fun. Good boy. All right. Are you ready to uh, get up and move? What goes workouts <laughs> can help you keep that New Year's resolution? I like that punch. All right. I like that a lot. It's a new show hosted by NBC 10's Sheila Watko. She takes eat. us on a tour like of some of our area's coolest gyms and exercise routines, you and there's a lot. Bad. She's dancing it out. Uh, you can stream <laughs> Watko's workouts on NBC10.com and the free NBC10 app. You can also catch it wherever you stream NBC Philadelphia. We all need a little help to uh, oh, yeah. keep those resolutions because we're a week in to 2024 and whether you set goals to lose weight or maybe wake up on time, whatever it is, a lot of us make these New Year's resolutions and we don't keep them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guilty as charged. NBC 10's Matt Delusia takes a look at why that is and then what we actually can do better. Be honest, how are your New Year's resolutions going? Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not alone. I'm gonna be honest, I don't always keep them. No matter what it is. I, like, always kind of just, like, end up breaking them. But why is that? Here's a Villanova business professor to explain. You know, what we see is people set these resolutions. They start at the new year, and, and we generally start off on the right foot, start out doing very well. But over time... We see that these goals are hard to maintain. Most of them are are based on making very virtuous decisions, and those are easy to break with time and temptation. One of the most popular resolutions is I'm gonna get fit. But without a solid action plan, those old habits will weigh you down. How are you going to accomplish that? How many times do you want to go to the gym? What time of day do you want to go to the gym? How much time do you want to spend there? Or maybe you take your morning coffee with an extra kick. Don't worry, I'm not judging, but a lot of people are doing something called Dry January. The nice thing about dry January is that it is shorter term. So you can see the end of January, which is different than when you have something that you intend to, to carry out for the year or, or even longer than that. And a fall isn't necessarily a fail. Once you fail in the all or nothing, it becomes very easy to be <laughs> So you, you set off to, to eat healthy and you have a little treat. So you have 10 additional treats that day. I don't know anything about that. 
But whether that resolution is big or small. I do better in school. Kind of be more centered and focused on family, love, and God. Set that plan and stay accountable. I think I get my priorities messed up and I just get stuck in like my own world. Maybe the real resolution is to keep your resolution. I'm only eight and I don't know what that even means. I'm with you, kid. <laughs> Matt Delusha, NBC 10 News. I mean, the honesty. It's like, I'm only eight, sir. I don't, I don't know, know what that babes. means. <laughs> you know what? You do. I, you, sometimes I don't know what it means either. But we, we keep making them. I keep making resolutions. You do, you know, and you break them. He has a point. Just be. Yeah. Just be where you are. Yep. Eat your cookie. Exactly. Do your workout, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That does it for today's edition of The Lineup. For Aaron Coleman, I'm Lucy Bustamante. Remember, you can always get NBC10 News updates right on the NBC10 app. And catch us weekday mornings, maybe during your new workout from 4 to 7 a.m. Have a great day. <laughs>